Hey guys, welcome back to another Bug Snacks DLC Island Extraordinaire Adventure. Okay, so somehow I need to actually I don't know if this would work. But let's try. No, it's okay. It's okay. Stop. It's okay. Would you stop moving? Maybe this will make it better. I fell off again. That's embarrassing. Alright. Come on. Alright. Um, I don't really, oh God, that scared me. I don't really know if that's what you're supposed to do, but uh, we got it. What do you like, peanut butter? Why are you all so big? No, got him. Alright, so I wonder, can I just... Oh. And then What? Get Catch another one? Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, just want to catch one more of them. Uh. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, okay. Weird. Uh. All right, cool. Now. Did that say hates Eggabel? That's so funny. Huh. Am I not allowed to put this down? Oh, I guess I don't want you hopping over there. Oh, wait, could I just... And then... Oh, this isn't the, uh... I don't 
think. How would you? Unless that thing takes you up there. Let's see what happens. Let's go feed uh, Buddy's stuff before we get too far into doing something we shouldn't be doing yet. I thought I could make that jump. There's stuff I can't talk about because Snorpy's always listening in. So, if not now, when? All right, Sheldon's waiting. Hey, Sheldon, can I get some of your wisdom? Always, my child. I'm worried about Snorpy. <sighs> Once more, shall you be reminded. Snorpy is safer than we, Chandlo. Ease your burden. That's... that's not what I mean. I'm worried about the way he's been. All the paranoid stuff, the anxiety. I thought bringing Snorpy out here, out into nature, it might mellow him out. Flush all the bad vibes out of his system. But it's only gotten worse. I've known Snorpy all my life, but it feels like he's getting further away from me and... And I just don't know what to do. Uh, one must in the path of the mother. No, uh, hold on. One does not want one's words to be misinterpreted when one uh -oh. says that boy needs therapy. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. And I'm trying to do that. I make sure he's safe. I listen to his problems. I try to help him feel valid. All that stuff. Chandler. You are strong and wise and wonderful, and you can do everything to support him. But you cannot fix him. Understand? Snorpy is lost in a maze of his own making, and it will take a professional to help him escape. That's a lot to take in. I need to think about it. Thanks for your wisdom, Shelda. You know, thank me when you actually take my advice. Hey, bro, while I'm still out here, I want to talk to Triffany and Floofty, too. There's still more I gotta know, you know? Alright, well, let's see. Oh, I'm happy to chat with Chan Lo. 
Let's meet by the campfire. What's going on, Chandlo? Trithany, you know about history and, like, ancient societies and stuff. Shelda said Snorpy's lost in a maze of delusion. But what if it's not a delusion? What if there really is a Grumpinati? Well, I've done some research on my own, and uh, near as I can tell, there's no such thing. At least not in the way you see in the movies. There's no shadowy cabal secretly in control of the world. Or is there? Real conspiracies can't happen. And heck, there was an old literary society called the Grumpinati. But aside from the name, it's not at all what Snorpy talks about. Are you sure? I mean, I've seen Snorpy's charts, and they kind of make sense. Kinda is the important word here, though. Look, there are points of data on that chart that are real, but it's all those strings between them that are made up. No, those are real. We got them from Gramble. Oh, Chandlo, that's not, uh, what I... Let it go, my child. Point is, Snorpy might be a talented engineer, but he's no historian, and he's certainly not immune to bias, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. I hope you're right. Thanks for talking to me, Triff Dog. No problem. And if you ever want to know more about failed conspiracies throughout history, you know where to find me. All right, one more. Oh, I did not want to feed you. Oh, I suppose it was only a matter of time. Tell Chenlo I will be with him shortly. Are we here to speak ill of my brother? I will gladly go first. Complaint one of 294. No, no, that's not why I asked you here. But I do want to talk about Snorpy. He wasn't like this when we were kids, right? I mean, he wasn't always so on edge, was he? Snorpington has always had his imagination and his moral compass, but no. I suppose he's gotten markedly more distraught since our project's dissolution. What happened between you two? I mean, I heard some of it from him, but I always wanted to hear your side too. And Snorpy doesn't really like me talking to you. Oh, I'm aware. I have a pile of threatening letters to that effect. However, I will gladly take this opportunity to set the record straight. We were working together on a government-funded research project. Advanced prosthetics that are ten times stronger than an ordinary Grumpus. But our dear Snorpington discovered that the government had less than savory plans for that technology. And despite my protestations, he tried to make those plans public knowledge. Well, yeah, I don't blame him. Even you got to admit, that's pretty jacked up, dog. Am I the world's only optimist? That technology would have saved lives. If it must either exist with some consequences or not exist at all, I think the choice is clear. Easy to say when you aren't the one living with the consequences. <laughs> yeah, where did you come from? Shoo! <sighs> Unfortunately, Snorpington agreed with you. He tried to play whistleblower, but before he could make a sound, we were both fired. And after that, there was a campaign to slander both of us, to discredit any allegations he might still make. So, there really was a conspiracy against you two? <laughs> if you must call it that. But only the most boring sort with paperwork and lawsuits. Still, that means it's not all in his head. Don't mistake justification for reason. Snorpington has moved well beyond the realities of our situation. All right, Flifty. Thanks for telling me all that. Mm, happy to have enlightened you. Honestly, I expected this conversation to involve more shouting and headlocks. <laughs> no, not this time. We're cool. But hey, we should talk more often. And maybe I can show you how to headlock me! Perhaps. But for now, my work beckons. Alright, let's see what he has to say after all that talking to people. Bro, I feel like there's a huge weight on top of me. And it's not the kind I can lift. Snorpy never would have come to Snacktooth if I didn't push him into it. 
All I do now is make him exercise and ignore all the stuff I don't understand. Sheldon's right. I don't know enough to really help him. And thinking I do is only making it worse. I'm gonna stay here. Until everybody's ready, anyway. I need some time to just... think. Alright. I wanna see what he looks like. If we do all the... No, oh, that's kinda lame. What about this one, yeah. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna keep them like this. I like that. <laughs> Alright guys. <laughs> I love the video here. Thank you so much for watching.